Good morning! It's Monday! Which means it is another year of joy weekly challenge. Hooray! And I, I was brainstorming all week. I was like, I should talk about this. I should talk about this. I should talk about this. And then all the drama happened with the NFL people. If you're not familiar with it, if you don't watch the NFL, I, I don't. Like, I, I don't watch football just because I'm not even remotely interested in people that run around in spandex chasing a ball to get paid millions of dollars for doing something that I feel isn't important at all in this world. Uh, if you're a fan, that's that's great. I yeah, you know, I don't take offense to that. It's just not for me. Um, recently, they were talking about the disrespect during the anthem and that sort of thing. And I, I was telling a friend that was upset. I was like, you know, if you really care that much, stop watching. Stop buying their stuff. Stop buying from their sponsors. You know, stop buying anything with their team logo. Because the truth is, in this world today, the way that you know, people get paid is when we give them our money. That is how we vote today uh, in whatever way that you perceive that. So if someone believes in local farm to table stuff, you buy from your local farms. You make it yourself or you support restaurants that buy also from local farms. Um, if you believe in veganism and vegetarianism and, and you know, saving animals from cruelty. Well, you're not gonna buy products tested on animals. You're probably not gonna buy animal products. You're not going to eat meat or eggs or fish or dairy or anything like that. You are voting with your money. Sorry, crazy day. Um, and so I feel like the same thing is to be said, you know, with our attention. If you don't support a specific team, then don't watch it. <laughs> If you don't like how someone is behaving, don't give them your attention. And so for this year's, for this week's challenge, sorry. Gracious, I need a drink already. It's only Monday morning. Ah, uh, I want you to think about how you're paying people. Whether it's uh, how, which gas station you choose to go to because I absolutely have favorite gas stations and favorite regions because of the customer service, because of the cleanliness, because of the cost. Uh, although really, you know, cost isn't a factor. If I stop at a gas station to use a clean restroom when I'm running, you know, business back and forth, I stop there because I like the people. I like, I, I, you know, everything's clean because clean bathroom means a lot to a traveling salesperson. Um, that, I, that's how I vote with my money. And when I stop, I always get myself a soda and a snack. You know, it might just be a candy bar or something, but you know, I'm out running business you know, well, almost every day, every week, uh, but I travel at least two days a week. And so in those two days, I am voting with that money. And I figure two days over 52 weeks a year is like 104, uh, that's a lot of stops, essentially. And so I am voting with my money where I choose to stop based on certain factors. Um, the small amount of spare time that I have that I get to watch, semi-adult TV. I vote by giving my attention to uh, my favorite shows, uh, anything on freaking Food Network. Um, you know, the little things like that, what I give my attention to is what I support. And so in that way, I'm voting or I'm paying for these things in that way. So I want you to think about if these, if this is stressing you out, if this is upsetting to you, if this is stealing your joy, Spend your time and focus, attention, and money on something that brings you joy instead because it doesn't make sense to argue with people about this stuff. Freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom of speech for everything only you believe in. Freedom of speech is freedom of speech for everything. And almost all the veterans that I've spoken to have said, I, I, it's, it's just not that big of a deal. But if it's a big deal to you, speak your piece vote you know vote with your money your focus and your attention if it's important to you continue to bring it up and continue on the conversation if it's not important to you do not engage in conversation start promoting things that you care about you know talk about things that are more important to you so like this is I uh, this isn't important to me finding something I care about is important to me finding uh, right now on my business stuff I'm talking about what charities, and I'm asking people for charities, local charities, that I should support and raise money for during the holiday season because that's important to me. That's me giving back. I'm finishing up my uh, crochet projects for donating to the bereavement group, uh, the preemie group at the NICU unit. 
You know, there's a lot of things that I'm doing that are important to me that I'm talking about instead of just focusing in on the drama because there's too much drama. This is, it is. All right, I'm running late for your week of the challenge, guys. I apologize if this is a long video. Uh, you know your assignment. Get to it. And actually think about, focus on it. Whenever you stop to get something to eat, ask yourself, why have I chosen to stop here? Why is stopping here important to me? Do I have favorite waitresses? Do I have a favorite food at this restaurant? And I could go to two different restaurants, but I chose this one because it was closer, it was convenient, it's cleaner, I like the people, whatever. Yeah, same thing. So how are you spending your time, your attention, your money, your focus, and how is that bringing you joy or taking away from your joy? All right, it's something so small and simple that we don't think about the whys, but we all do everything for a reason. And when we know that reason, we can kind of evolve with that, and that's the awesome part. All right, I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. I hope it is filled with joy and not nearly as crazy and stressful as mine has started. Love you guys. Bye.